For thousands of years, Iran, once known as Persia, has stood at the heart of empires, revolutions, and some of humanity's greatest cultural achievements. From the poetry of Hafez and the brilliance of Persepolis to the sweeping reach of the Achaemenid Empire, Iranian civilization is among the oldest and most influential in history. But a new kind of evidence is now peeling back the layers of myth and tradition to ask a bold question. Who are the Iranians, genetically speaking? Until recently, identity in Iran was defined mostly by language, religion, and history. People proudly linked themselves to Aryan roots, Persian dynasties, or the Islamic Golden Age. But modern genetics is revealing a far more intricate story, one that connects the people of Iran to ancient farmers, steppe nomads, Arabian tribes, Central Asian conquerors, and even populations from the distant Caucasus. In fact, recent studies using ancient DNA, retrieved from 5,000-year-old skeletons, and modern genetic testing have turned many assumptions upside down. The results are stunning. Iranians today carry deep genetic signatures that predate the Persian Empire, while also bearing markers of waves of migration and conquest from across Eurasia. This is not just a story of science, it's a re-examination of identity. Because what we inherit in our DNA isn't just biology, it's history, migration, trauma, and resilience. So, in this video, we'll trace the surprising genetic journey of the Iranian people through the ancient Elamites, the Indo-Iranian migrations, the Persian Empire, Arab and Turkic conquests, and into the mosaic that is modern Iran. By the end, you might find that Iran's story is far more global and ancient than anyone ever imagined. Let's begin. Long before the mighty Persian Empire, Iran was already home to some of the earliest complex societies in the world. Archaeological evidence shows that farming communities flourished on the Iranian plateau as far back as 10,000 years ago. But among the first major civilizations in this region were the Elamites, an enigmatic people who built powerful city-states in southwestern Iran, near what is now Khazestan. The Elamites left behind sophisticated art, writing systems, and architecture, but their language remains a mystery. It is a linguistic isolate, unrelated to Indo-European or Semitic tongues. This has long puzzled historians, but genetics is beginning to offer new clues. Ancient DNA from burial sites in the region shows that the Elamites and other early Iranians descended largely from Neolithic farmers who migrated east from the Fertile Crescent. These people brought agriculture, but also a unique genetic signature that still exists in Iranians today, particularly in southern and southwestern regions. Then came the Medes, a powerful Indo-Iranian group who swept into western Iran around 3,000 years ago from the Central Asian steppes. They spoke an early form of Iranian language and brought horse culture and chariot warfare. Genetically, the Medes introduced steppe ancestry into the region, a mix of Eastern European and Central Asian genes linked to the vast Yamnaya and Andronovo cultures. What's fascinating is that Iranian genomes today still reflect this dual heritage, the ancient farmers of the Zagros and the nomadic pastoralists of the steppe. In some parts of the country, especially in the north and west, steppe ancestry is stronger, while in the south, deeper near eastern roots dominate. This merging of two vastly different populations, sedentary agrarians and mobile warriors, helped lay the foundation for what would become the Persian Empire. But even before Cyrus the Great united the region under one banner, Iran was already genetically and culturally layered. These early civilizations formed the backbone of what it meant to be Iranian, before the concept of Iran even existed. Around 4,000 years ago, a wave of migrations swept across Eurasia from the vast grasslands of the Pontic Caspian steppe. These were the Indo-Iranians, part of a larger Indo-European language family and their arrival would forever reshape the genetic and linguistic landscape of ancient Iran. Armed with domesticated horses, chariots, and a mobile pastoral lifestyle, the Indo-Iranians moved southward through Central Asia and into the Iranian plateau. They brought with them a distinct genetic signature, one now well documented through ancient DNA. A blend of Eastern European hunter-gatherers and Caucasus-slash-Iranian Neolithic ancestry. This ancestry, often referred to as steppe or Yamnaya related, marks a major demographic shift in the region. 
But this migration wasn't just about DNA. The newcomers also brought language. The Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European family, which includes both the Iranian languages, like Old Persian and Avestan, and Indo-Aryan languages, like Sanskrit, began to take root. In Iran, the linguistic transition eventually replaced many earlier tongues, though some older cultural and religious elements were absorbed and reinterpreted. Zoroastrianism, for example, reflects both Indo-Iranian and pre-Indo-Iranian spiritual concepts. Interestingly, genetic studies show that the Indo-Iranian impact was significant but not total. Rather than replacing the existing population, these migrants intermarried and integrated with the indigenous communities. This resulted in a blended genetic profile, steppe ancestry mixed with older local lineages from the Zagros and Elamite regions. This hybridization formed the basis of what we now consider the Iranian gene pool. The Indo-Iranian migration is also notable for its speed and reach. From the Iranian plateau, some groups moved east into South Asia, eventually contributing to the genetic and linguistic foundation of the Indian subcontinent. Others, like the Medes and Persians, stayed and laid the groundwork for future Iranian empires. What's remarkable is how ancient texts, like the Avesta and the Rigveda, mirror the findings of modern genetics and archaeology. The division of people into priests, warriors, and herders, the use of horses and warfare, and references to distant migrations all align with this historical and biological record. In short, the Indo-Iranians didn't just arrive, they transformed Iran. Their legacy lives on in both the blood and the words of modern Iranians. The ancient Persian empires, from the Achaemenids to the Sassanids, were not just political giants, but extraordinary genetic melting pots. Stretching across three continents at their peak, these empires absorbed and connected a wide spectrum of peoples, cultures, and genes. The Achaemenid Empire, c. 550 to 330 BCE, founded by Cyrus the Great, was the first true superpower of the ancient world. From the Indus Valley in the east to the Balkans and Egypt in the west, it unified diverse ethnic groups, Elamites, Medes, Babylonians, Greeks, Egyptians, Jews, and Scythians, among many others. The empire's policy of tolerance and local autonomy encouraged intermarriage, migration, and the blending of cultures. Genetic evidence from ancient remains across the empire's territories confirms this mosaic, showing admixture from Central Asian, Anatolian, Caucasus, and South Asian sources during and after Achaemenid rule. Following Alexander's conquest, the Seleucid and Parthian eras continued this trend, maintaining Iran as a crossroads of East and West. But it was under the Sassanid Empire, 224 to 651 CE, that this diversity was reintegrated with a strong Persian cultural identity. Zoroastrianism was revived as a state religion, and Persian language and arts flourished yet the genetic pool remained diverse. Sassanid Iran had contact with Rome, Byzantium, India, and China, and its population reflected that reach. By the end of the Sassanid era, Iran's gene pool was already a fusion of ancient Indo-Iranian, indigenous Neolithic, and imperial era admixture. These empires didn't just conquer land, they bound together peoples. And that binding is still visible in the modern Iranian genome which carries traces of each of these imperial ages. The Arab conquest of Persia in the 7th century CE marked a profound political, religious, and cultural turning point, but genetically, its impact was more nuanced than often assumed. While the Islamic conquest ushered in centuries of change, the genetic core of the Iranian population remained remarkably stable, layered atop a deep foundation laid by millennia of earlier civilizations. When Arab armies defeated the Sassanid Empire in the 640 CE, Persia underwent rapid Islamization. Zoroastrianism gradually gave way to Islam. Arabic language and script influenced Persian, and the caliphates integrated Iran into a broader Islamic world stretching from Spain to Central Asia. However, Arab settlers were relatively few in number compared to the local Persian population. Genetic studies confirm this. While some Arabian genetic signatures entered the Iranian gene pool, they did not replace the existing population. Instead, 
they added a new thread to an already complex genetic fabric. Culturally, Iran was never fully Arabized. The Persian language survived and eventually re-emerged as the vehicle for Islamic literature and philosophy, particularly under dynasties like the Samanids and Bayids. The Abbasid Caliphate, though centered in Baghdad, relied heavily on Persian administrators, thinkers, and artists, cementing Iran's role as a core of the Islamic Golden Age. Genetically, the Islamic period also facilitated movement and mixture beyond Arab influence. Turkic migrations from Central Asia, later Mongol invasions, and connections with the Indian subcontinent and the Caucasus brought new genetic infusions over time. Iran became a bridge between the Islamic world's east and west, reflected not only in its art and architecture, but also in its population structure. By the end of the first Islamic millennium, Iran's genome had evolved again, not through large-scale population replacement, but through layers of admixture from the Arab world, Central Asia, and beyond. The story of Islamic Iran is not one of genetic erasure, but of cultural transformation layered upon a resilient and ancient human landscape. Between the 10th and 13th centuries, Iran experienced a series of migrations and invasions that would leave deep marks on its cultural and genetic landscape none more significant than those of the Turkic tribes and the Mongol Empire. The arrival of Turkic peoples from Central Asia, beginning with groups like the Ghaznavids and later the Seljuks, brought a gradual but profound transformation to Iran. These Turkic-speaking groups were originally nomadic and shamanistic, but over time they adopted Islam and Persian culture, often becoming champions of Persian literature, art, and administration. Genetically, these migrations introduced a distinct Central Asian component into the Iranian gene pool, particularly in the northeast and central regions of Iran. Then came the Mongol invasions in the 13th century, under Genghis Khan and his successors. The Ilkhanate, a Mongol state that ruled over Iran for nearly a century, brought waves of East Asian ancestry into the population. While the Mongols were numerically small compared to the local population, Intermarriage and the placement of Mongol garrisons and elites across Persian cities left genetic traces that can still be detected today, especially in regions like Khorasan. However, much like previous conquerors, both the Turks and Mongols eventually assimilated into the broader Persian cultural sphere. Over time, many of these groups adopted the Persian language, customs, and Islamic faith, blurring the lines between conqueror and local. Modern genetic studies confirm this eastern influx. While the core of Iranian ancestry remains West Eurasian, Turkic and Mongoloid genetic signatures persist in varying degrees, stronger in the northeast, fainter in the west and south. These layers from the east did not overwrite Iran's ancient heritage. Instead, they became part of its enduring genetic and cultural mosaic. Iran is often perceived as a homogenous Persian-speaking nation, but beneath the surface lies one of the most ethnically and genetically diverse populations in the Middle East. This diversity is not only cultural or linguistic, it's etched into the very DNA of its people. Modern genetic studies reveal that Iran is a true mosaic shaped by geography, history, and migration. From the Kurdish islands in the west to the Baluchi deserts in the southeast, each region carries its own unique genetic signature. These differences stem from thousands of years of localized histories, ancient intermarriages, and interactions with surrounding peoples. For example, Kurds in western Iran show strong genetic continuity with ancient Zagros mountain populations and possess links to other populations in the Caucasus and Mesopotamia. Laz, another western ethnic group, share similar ancestry but also exhibit distinct genetic markers, highlighting long-term isolation in the Zagros. In the North, Azeris, a Turkic-speaking group, carry a mix of Iranian and Central Asian ancestry, reflecting the influence of Turkic migrations while retaining deep West Asian roots. In the Southeast, Baluchis are genetically closer to South Asian populations, likely due to centuries of interaction across the Persian Gulf and Indian subcontinent. Meanwhile, coastal groups along the Persian Gulf, such as the Bandari, often show traces of African ancestry, a legacy of trade and migration during the Islamic and pre-Islamic eras. Despite this wide variation, 
Most Iranians share a strong common genetic foundation linked to ancient West Eurasian populations. However, regional and ethnic distinctions remain clearly visible in DNA, supporting Iran's image as a crossroads of civilizations and a complex genetic patchwork. These differences don't divide the nation. They enrich it, offering a window into its vast and layered history. Modern Iranian DNA tells a story far deeper than modern borders or political labels. Genetic analysis reveals that today's Iranians are descendants of a rich blend of ancient populations. Neolithic farmers from the Fertile Crescent, Indo-Iranian steppe migrants, Elamites, and remnants of pre-Aryan civilizations native to the Iranian plateau. While Persian identity is often central to Iran's national narrative, modern genetics shows that Iran is far from ethnically monolithic. Significant regional variation exists. Northeastern Iranians, for instance, tend to carry more Central Asian ancestry, likely from historical Turkic and Mongol influxes. Western Iranians show stronger continuity with ancient Mesopotamian and Caucasus groups, while southern populations reflect subtle African and South Asian links due to maritime trade and migration. Yet, across these differences, a shared genetic core ties Iranians together. Most populations show deep continuity with pre-Islamic and even prehistoric inhabitants of the region, disproving any notion of a population replacement after the Islamic conquest or area migration. Ultimately, modern Iranian DNA reaffirms what history has long suggested. Iran is a living tapestry woven from countless civilizations. Its people are not defined by a single ancestry, but by millennia of connections, local and global, ancient and evolving. Genetics is reshaping how we understand Iranian identity, not as a singular lineage, but as a mosaic of histories, far from a myth of a pure Aryan heritage. The Iranian genome reflects millennia of cultural exchange, migration, and integration. From ancient Elamites and steppe nomads to Arab, Turkic, and Mongol influences, the Iranian people embody a deep and diverse genetic legacy. Rather than dilute identity, this complexity enriches it. In the genome, we see not division, but connection, a reminder that Iranian identity is not rooted in one thread, but in the strength of its many intertwined origins.